cards on the table. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've been active. We'll, we'll waste too much time talking, discussing why, who's, where's, why I'm even back. All that stuff is just so blase, isn't it? Okay, what? Well, I am back. Won't waste too much time. Uh, I guess the question is, what am I back to? Uh, yeah, well, New Year. I think now is a good time as any to make my appearance back on YouTube. You know, I think I've been off for so long. Uh, I feel like I want to come back at this point. One second. This is like ASMR for you guys. Okay, so uh, I guess we'll have to start somewhere. Um, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone away for a long time. Uh, this is due to many reasons, uh, not any less than you know, seeing the current climate things. It can be overwhelming for most people. Yeah, including being one of them. So I'm back. I decided to um, come back uh, as a New Year's. Or for the second, second, second day of the year of the new year. So you know, I guess I didn't work out. If it didn't work out being the first day, but better nothing. But yeah, so today's video, I'm going to be modeling something, a uh, car specifically. The specific car being the Peugeot 106. A uh, very interesting car. Um, many reasons why I chose it. Main one being that it's a looks like a simple enough car. If we look at it, we can see it's not very complex in shape. Um, I think it's a good starter car to get your get back in the groove. Wait for it to load. Okay, as you can see, it's not made too complex in shapes. Not very too curvy. Not very not very curvy, which is what I'm trying to avoid for most parts. I think this is a good option. Yep. So okay, so go ahead and start modeling. I guess the first thing to do is set up the reference photos. Which is the angle. Drop down the reference photo on the viewport. Okay. <laughs> now, I forgot where I'd go about changing it, the opacity. Mm -mm -mm. What was it? Let's have a look around. If you're wondering why I'm a bit un. un Unaware of the functions of this blender is because it's a brand new upload, a brand new version of Blender, Blender 3.0. So I am completely new to it, and that added on to the fact that I've been away from modeling for a long time now. So this is completely new to me. I'm just getting back to it, but again, this is, this video isn't one one I would I think you'd watch mainly for education this is maybe just a introduction more than anything for myself and for others too and when it comes to modeling I got 90 oh what happened there hmm I'm not sure what just happened there Let's see if undo does anything. Undo, undo, undo. Okay, yeah, better nothing. Okay, so up that view, maybe being side. Three. Front view. Gonna drop another one. Set up like so. Mm 
Huh, okay, yeah. Yeah, front view. Side view. And the top view. Uh, drop another one. Hopefully eventually it loads. Uh, didn't work, I think. Let's try again. I guess this should be a good reminder what to expect from this and to temper your expectations when it comes to what you're looking at. And for some reason it doesn't seem to load the reference photo. Ah, there we go. Seven. Okay, so now we have to adjust the viewport so everything lines up perfectly. Side view. Front view. Look at opacity again. Okay. Now we're gonna adjust it along the all the axes and using this as the cir circle spot. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, da -da -da -da, rotate. Twenty. Rotate. Rotate. Hmm. X. Rotate. 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 Y. Ninety. Rotate. Hmm. X ninety. Nope. Rotate. I'm not gonna lie, this is what always confuses me. This is damn axes. Rotate Z ninety. Nothing that should be good. Okay. G Now we're going to align it so it's right smack dab in the middle. Uh, let me see. How do I make sure that we're in the middle of the car? Side view. G 
G Y three. Okay, I'm still in the middle of adjusting the viewport so it aligns all the different views, all the different axes line up. Okay. One. Okay, I'm sorry I'm not as entertaining as I should be, but I'm currently doing something pretty mundane. And just a heads up, you can expect a lot of this. As a lot of it will just be mundane, busy work when it comes to modeling, that's just, just no way around it. One, let's just see. Okay, now I'm just gonna move these out the way. You don't have to do this yourself, but this is just for something to make the viewport much more accessible and more more easily viewable. Press, press G, Y. And then choose the side view along the G X axis. Now choose the top the top reference photo and move it along the Z axis. Now I'm going to label these just so I have I can access them easier, be more convenient. I believe this is the top one. Top ref. Let's see if that's correct. Yep. There's the front reference. And label it as such. And then we have the side reference. Side reference. And label it like so. Okay, I'm going to add another collection, a new collection. Graph photos, just so they're easier to access. Go ahead and drag it to rep photos. Lara photos. Again, you don't have to do this as I'm doing. This is just mostly for my own personal preference. It's just my own preference how I like to set up the viewports and um, I find it easier, much easier to work. But again, you don't have to follow as I'm doing. It's mostly just for convenience. Okay, let me go ahead. Also, uh, change, add a new function where you can make the reference photos unselectable. There you go. As you can see, they're no longer selectable. Okay. Uh, it's the front view, side view, top view. Okay, so far I've been familiarizing myself with all the shortcuts for this particular program, Blender, for Blender. And I think these have been the most useful so far. And also, moving along the axes, moving on the viewport, changing my view in the viewport by pressing the middle mouse button and this one I just learnt which is I guess moving along a specific axis by holding the shift and the middle mouse button very helpful again you can find these online as well I had um, some issues edit 
well, modeling without it, and I found it to be almost a lifesaver when it comes to modeling. Uh, okay, I just have to also as well as it just reminded me I have to mention the the rig I'm working on is not the best or most powerful computer. It's a household laptop that's way at at way expired. I just don't have much money at the moment uh, to get more powerful rig. That's more um, uh, which the speciality or modeling. This is just a general everyday laptop. They even it feels like that because it has struggles a lot to um, for browsing, which is why I gave up on it. I currently use for my day to day use a Chromebook, which I find a lot more useful, a lot more, a lot speedier, a lot more convenient than this old HP laptop. And I think I've pretty much off completely off buying any more Windows computers. I'm completely being put off after this experience. Okay, I think we'll pretty much set up with that. We can go ahead and add a, a plane. Uh, do that. Oh, there it is. Let's go ahead and go to wireframe. Um, so, okay, let's start modeling. I personally, I said at this point you have to decide which, where you'd like to begin and what angle you'll start with. My personal preference is usually the top. Where did it go? Oh, plane. Go ahead, plane. Okay. I personally prefer to start modeling from the top view. Again, you don't have to use the top view like that. This is just mostly a, a preference of mine and it's just mainly out of, mainly out of old habits. But I guess at some point we do have to break out of old habits and find new ways of doing things. I'm going to go in edit mode. Okay. <laughs> okay, I begin process of modeling the hood. Mm, here I'm just noticing differing issue with the reference photos. Just as a reminder, before you start, you should always make sure you know, the best quality reference photo to work with. Right now I'm already struggling a bit due to all the due to having a low quality reference photo. As you can see with those other extra I guess meant to be copyright waterprint stuff. Again, I'm a poor student so is not going to find a better option to be honest. If you can donate better reference photos, please do. <laughs> Maybe for the next one, and I'll give you a shout out to my legions of followers. Hopefully, give you clout. <laughs> Again, so maybe there, are, yeah, all this watermark is definitely getting in the way. So I'm not sure, but I'm not sure what else I can do at this moment. But yeah, uh, we'll carry on. Hmm, maybe I can disable opacity. Where's opacity? Not that one. 
This one, this one, this one. Ah, where's opacity again? Lost opacity. Hmm, this one. This one, this one. Oh, sorry about that. Hopefully you guys can bear with me. While I'm familiar myself with uh, the interface of Blender. It's been so long since I've used this. Maybe I'm confusing myself. Okay, side reference for a turn. Go here. Where are you? Opacity control. Object mode, opacity. Yeah, I think. Just the same for the rest. It just doesn't seem to be too useful. Okay, let's begin. Seven. Hmm. Seems to be having an issue. Oh, there we go. Now, um, so okay, basically now what we do is start, it's a long process, but we start modeling and building around the reference photo we have. And it, it'll be similar to as if you're tracing on a 2D plane along the, the reference photo, okay? Okay, now we can begin. Split cut tool. Da, 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 da. We'll find a spot tool. Please. E. R. Hmm. Where is it? C B I might have to pause the recording for a second just so I can get the shortcut for cut tool So split tool One second Okay, I figured it out the shortcut I'm looking for and I hope we, you can appreciate my honesty and find it to be rather mm, basically this is cut I was looking for where it splits splits a face or vertices more f just, just to add more detail Control R Okay. Hopefully you can appreciate my honesty as a sign of strength and as they say Okay, drop another cut here Again, there's no exact size beyond this. You have to edit to what feels natural to you. Sure, there are guidelines that you should follow, but I try to be free, not to constrain myself too much along very rigid rules. I don't mean to sound very uh, too pretentious.
see, first of all, I'm not so exactly sure what this tool is here. So, um, maybe in the few later on I'll work on that. Work on fixing that. Uh, maybe I'll just move that along this line here. So it's in more... It's a bit more aligned. Maybe, yeah. So, another honesty truth bomb is I am currently listening to ASMR while I record this. It's been very essential for me throughout these current periods due to the stress it has been very helpful okay now look at other angles okay let's see how far along are we go ahead see side front view top view Okay, now I just need to make sure it Go add some split loops A Side view And just keep adding Keep adding these loop cuts to get a general idea of the shape we're trying to build around the car. Go ahead, push it outwards. Maybe we add a, another. And then move that upwards. There we go. That looks good so far. Okay, looks good so far. We see again some discrepancy between two different angles. This could be due to low quality reference photos, but this is the bread and butter when it comes to modeling. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drag these down. Hmm. Might add another split cut here. And then bring this vertex down. So, kind of, um, sort of, um, more closely matches the hood shape. Or the bonnet, whatever you want to call it. Side view. Hmm. <laughs> now, da 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 Uh, 
at these ones. Okay. Yeah, that works. Seven. Yeah, yeah, that works. Now I'll continue along the body, maybe to the side here. Okay. I'm gonna extrude that out. Extrude that outward so we to curve against the side of the body of the car. Let's go ahead and bring that out. Oh, maybe a bit more back. Pull it back. Again, I'm trying to follow the plan of a car so everything flows smoothly. I think it just makes things more easier to work with the shapes and the model of the car when everything follows a smooth direction. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this plane again. Go ahead, pull that up just a little bit more. Pull up here. Okay. Thank you. That's good. Now, let's bring it down. Again, you can see it doesn't fully match the views and that's an issue sometimes you have to deal with where sometimes you have to use your own initiatives front side a bit <laughs> see seven bring these down. Again, sorry if I'm not too vocal, it's just very mundane. They just are maintaining here. Not doing anything too terribly exciting. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's carry on. Okay. I'm going to keep building downwards. So Extrude out. Hmm, that's good. Maybe add one more here. Editing the mesh so it matches with the shape of the car. Okay. I can bring that down a bit. Looks good so far. I'm going to keep extruding down. Keep going down. Bring that down a bit so it's a bit more in line. Let's look at the front. There we go. Looks a bit more better there. And make sure. Open up here, move these widths up. Now I'm going to add one more line here. Let's go ahead and drop that here. Go ahead and drop that one down. And then push that aside. Maybe add one more line here. Go ahead and drop that there. Go ahead and drop that here. And go ahead and follow along the lines. Uh, so, maybe add one more here. And then pull that up. So, 
Uh, looks good to me so far. Look, the hood is looking good so far. It's not the smoothest, but it's slightly taking shape. Now let's go ahead and compare it with uh, uh, a reference photo, another reference photo. Mm, it's good so far. Let's open up separately. So I can get a closer look. Oh, so I've entered it. Sorry about that. Okay. Looks good, looks good. So as you can see, is there's a bit of slight um, dip here, crease here, or kind of falls on the hood. What's good on the hood? So it kind of slit is the lip, what crease here, it kind of comes down. I guess it's meant to be more straight. Let's see, yeah, okay, okay, it looks good. Mm -hmm. Let me see. To the hood. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think it's me slight change here and this will come up and bring it up just to follow this curve a little bit as you can see this bit here kind of curves that way and this one curves down that way yeah I think it looks more or less right Yep, looks good to me so far. Let's go ahead. Mm, happy with that? Looks good so far. <laughs> Seven. Okay, bring that down a little bit. Bring that up a little bit. Maybe down a little bit more. That's good. Good, that's good. Now we're gonna build upwards. Hmm, how should I go about this? And then hmm. 
Open that up. that further extra it out to the roof of the car mm, little by little so for the reference photo okay so far again this is very tedious stuff it takes your time really no need to rush and it's just the, it's the busy work that needs to get done Keep extruding downwards. So, and we're going to model around the reference photo. Extrude down one more time. And have it modeled around the wheelbase and the fender. You see, it gets more trickier the further we go along, and you are still prone to mistakes and slip the finger, still not beyond. Making making mistakes or issues with the finger, press the wrong keyboard. It doesn't help. I'm on a very using a very old computer. And extrude down it one more time. Again, it's a common mistake. It keeps it keeps happening. I wish I could say I was above it, but I'm still. Not above it. Okay, let's bring it down. Extrude down. Extrude down. And done. 
Now we just be on the wheelbase of the car and we need to keep extruding down and modeling along using the car reference photo to help us. Let's go ahead and align that a bit more to the wheelbase. Like so. Also something I may admit I'm using this as a way to to teach myself to be more to think quicker I guess as I wish to spend work more on my YouTube presenting skills which I believe are lacking very very Uh, to one, go to three. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Looking good so far. As up the reference photo. Yep, yep, yep. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Good. Sorry, I've been a bit quiet at the moment. It's just not much. Exciting happening. One second. Okay, just planning out what we'll do next. A genius. Okay. Bring it down. Good, 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 good. Mm -mm. 
which for now Pull that up for the B pillar. The B pillar? Not too sure. But the terminology, correct car terminology for the cars. But we're going to go ahead and call it the windscreen blind spot. Ah, I'm not too sure. Probably help me come up with a name for it as I'm modeling. Probably another, not very likely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so how do I move forward from here? these as well. Go ahead and extrude that out. Like that. that along here, move these two a bit more along the y-axis, there we go, like so, maybe add uh, one extrusion here, Bring that down a little bit so it's just below the window. Looks good so far. Adjust these lines along the body of the car, like that. Again, pull this one a bit more. Along the wheels, I mean, along the body of the car. Bring that one up. Bring that up. Bring these two down. Oh, one. Okay, make sure they're smooth. Alright, you 
feel everything. You absorb everything. Water is memory. You 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 remember everything. Everything is written within you. It's all a part Bring these forward along the shape of the car. Again, as you can see, I'm not, what I'm doing is just drawing along the lines of the car. Okay. You know, I'm having some issues seeing here. Okay. You are so in tune with the cycle of the moon when the moon We're gonna that, um, move these footages oh, so it follows the door really of the car. So I can select it. Bring these closer to, really to the okay. door. So it follows the curve of the door. You, really or oh, where it opens and closes. Bring this down. And where she is every single day of the month, which sign, what phase, and that will help you understand the dial of your emotional body, okay? Because you guys have the full range, and that is what you are working on this life journey. Go ahead. Bring it down. And becoming the master of such, thus, then being the teacher and the healing to all. Wow, cancer. All right, let's look at your Go ahead and bring that one down. Looks good so far. Let's see how it looks. This is the general shape of the car as begin to form. And if we go into solid mode, yep, yeah, that looks better. Let's go ahead and go to wireframe mode again. Again, it's just the matter of continuing to edit along and add more body parts. Open that up a bit more. I'm gonna move these approaches along the base of the wheel. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Okay. And that one here. Bring that one down. There we go. As well as your greatest blessing because you have unlimited magic potential. Now we just need to keep extruding the law. Let's see if we can move the line. You go add those along. Now, quick at it. Put the solid mode, see how that looks. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Go back to wireframe and keep on adding a lot. 
and has made a promise to you, Cancer, I will stick with you through the end and I will make sure that you accomplish and you achieve all that you have set out for for this life journey because of what's next, okay? So you are wrapping up a lot this forward. of ends, a big cycle completing for you this life journey. So um, this is definitely going to be filled with a lot of different experiences for you, Cancer. All right, let's pull another card and see what other spirits are strongly around you this life journey. Bring that one up here. All right, well. And then bring that down. This one is the one that jumped out face up. Archangel Mallory, Zadkill, and Muriel. And this is about fifth dimensional consciousness, Cancer. I am not surprised. That is exactly what I'm like. You exist up here. I uh, can't explain it. Uh, it's struggling. Bring, the, probably bring that back a little bit. Thank you, Spirit. There you go. Yes, that is where you primarily exist, Cancer. Is in that fifth Let's see if I can extrude along that line. And um, state of being. And so uh, part of this life is really taking those higher life frequencies and pulling them down into the earth plane. Many of you are Add another light workers. Extrusion here. Are identify as star seeds. All of you are impact. Bring that up all on wheelbase. No and you are all quite intuitive and probably have other spiritual gifts on top of that. All right. Just because of what I see, this is a lifetime of mastery for you. And, and then extrude these ones. Move those along the side, and then extrude oh along here. Look good so far. size a bit out of it seems like these group of faces are not are a bit not in sync not sure how they go how they go like that but go ahead and fix that Okay, let's go back to Reaching for higher 
Oh, Cancer, this is powerful. All right, let's come over here to the blessing. We have square. You're always going to have a miracle through every challenge. You are always going to land on your feet. So square energy creates tension, <laughs> stalls, sounds the alarms, motives, pressures into, frustrates, demands, struggles, hurts, works out, reconciles. So this square energy, Cancer with the potential. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to build up onto the ceiling from here. Maybe bring it down a little bit more here. Yeah. You are so wise. Discipline, structure, there we go. time, responsibility, test, ambition, difficulty, restraint, grounding, practicality, self control, tradition, realism, and slightly control, bring those in. Gravity, wow, and then they follow along this curve. And then take them up. Serving you this lifetime, and you have a lot of positive karmic energy that is playing out that you will receive through miracle and through blessing through the impossible. You know, you will make okay. it happen. You will experience magic. I am telling you, you will see mountains keep going up. You at times in this life, Cancer, and that goes back to the karmic balance of energy. You're owed all of this, so when you need it the most. The magic is going to unfold for you. Right okay. there. Absolutely. I'm going to bring it down and bring those in. Oh my goodness. Cancer. And um, over here, the, the more negative um, karmic energies, the less that bring you're still in. working on. You're all so balancing those out because this is a very significant lifetime. A big soul. Just like that. Because you are moving on to Let's see how that looks. <laughs> I'm missing some spots here. Gosh, top. All right, that's good so far. Looks good. To come out, and this is actually a bonus card for you, Cancer. This is you. This is your energy. Have a look at the reference photo. Stability, love, wisdom, and this uh, light is so significant. The completion of it is going to be a big celebration in this virtual realm for you. All right. Know that you probably already. There are twenty minutes. It's good so far. I'm gonna extrude that out a bit more. And then bring those up. Bring those up. And bring this one up. I'm going to add one. Add a split cut. Bring those forward. Bring those up a little bit. And move those forward a bit. Of these, you know, more negative energies because we have 
positive and negative energies. So when that's happening, when you're feeling really just stuck, just go with the flow. Become very fluid and, and open yourself. The next street is back onto the front of the car. So you can shift your perception about your situation and your circumstances and why things are playing out the way they are at a, any particular time. Yes, look at you completing that soul cycle, learning all you needed to learn, all you needed to wrap up to move on to the next level. What was completing the path? Thank you. Yeah. Before the completion in the now, and you transcend. Yes, look at you transcending. You see that phoenix right there rising from the ashes. This is this. Okay, good. Cut the rock right by this side. Bring it up. Extrude them out again. Risen from the ashes of my ruin, and I seek much deeper spiritual experience for life. You are ascending this lifetime, Cancer. You are. Probably bring that down a little bit. And if you are going to come back to the earth plane, you would be coming back as like a leader of humanity of some kind. Okay, um, it's not just to live a, another normal life. Okay. No, it's to be a very strong leader of humanity in some capacity. Okay, or you are definitely ascending to a higher frequency. Um, what is this like line life, here? Um, you know, interdimensional place. It, it's, it's just so far beyond what even I can like feel and, and comprehend. Yeah. Hmm, oh interesting. Goodness. Something uh, wrong on this side. Uh, life lessons. Look at that. The nine of swords. You are gonna get really caught up in your mental body about things that you don't understand. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Clearly, you have some issues here. And remember, um, any heavy challenge is because you are creating that, and it's gonna okay. be accelerated, and it's gonna be more intense, but it's for great purpose. And here you are over here with the blessing showing as this page of cups beautiful okay. innocent, pure your inner child being what shines through the most as you transition out of this life journey oh cancer you are spiritual royalty absolutely 100 percent oh my goodness let's look at uh, the doors that open to you this life these as you bad master this range of emotional energy Let's go ahead and move those inwards. Yeah, I'm going to see a big mistake here. I'm not sure when when this happened exactly. But this is all part of the process of modeling. Yeah, okay, that makes a bit more sense now. Make those magic and miracles happen with your own intention, and you move those mountains for yourself and others with your own intention. Along those lines here. Here on your life path, the dolphin color, pure, joyful friendship, loving help. So the uh, oceanic world is very connected to you, not surprised you're a cancer. Uh, but you do have a special connection to ocean, to lakes, and all the creatures that dwell within, okay? So, um, <laughs> you may have a spirit animal that is aquatic, um, like a dolphin, um, a lobster, a shrimp, a clownfish, an octopus, a sea turtle, alright? You really connect with um, nature, uh, the aquatic nature. And um, some of you, as you master this emotional range, you will be able to psychically connect with mm -mm -mm. animals. Okay, that looks good. We'll see if everything aligns up properly or not, at least from your 
perspective, just eyeing up things. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, confused on this line here. Let's look at the reference again. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm trying to see how it sort of transitions from the body of the car to the ceiling of the car. Seven for the top. Okay, seven, three. Yes, see, you will always have miracles. You will always move those mountains. Okay, so let's go back to the top. very moment, you are sowing the seeds of your future through your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and attitudes. Put that here. fear, or indifference, you are always creating something. So remember to keep your side. Back to the top. Open it up. Grab that one here, which is the right bird to see. Go to his top. Which is top. Okay. Side. Okay. Go back to the side. Grab that one here. Through. Go back to the top. There we go. I'm not sure exactly if that fixes all the issues. Put that here. Bring this down a bit. Bring that up. Okay, I think let's. We'll slowly back up there. Yep, that looks a bit better. Make sure it's much smoother. The lines they present, the curves, the smoother they are, the more realistic they look. At least that's my perspective of it. But what's this line here? And why does it look like that? <laughs> Maybe bring that down a little bit. Mm 
Hmm. I'm not sure what that one there is for. Let's go to solid mode, see how that looks. Yeah, looks a lot better now. Yep, that looks much better. Okay, just to keep on working on it. And probably bring this one up. Bring part two more. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go ahead and have a look, overview look of what we've done so far. Not too bad. Our first up try. Yeah, not too bad so far. It's not as smooth as it can be, but pretty happy with the results so far. I think it's a good if it's a good foundation to build on all my future videos or future work modeling modeling work I do or any other cards I build. So I'm definitely happy so far. Let's go back. Definitely need to practice more. And there's just no shortcuts around there, is there? Okay, keep working. Okay, let's see what we got next. Maybe we start working on the boot, the boot section. Let's see what's needed here. I wonder what it takes to work on the boot. Oh yeah, right here. Yeah, it's gonna be hard, but we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Are those there? Are those here? Hmm. Yeah, this definitely gives me a lot to work on for any of my future modeling projects. And I know this is a lot I have to work, a lot I need to improve on. I've, you know, at least the foundation of modeling. It's just so much I need to work on. Hmm. Let's see, so far, so good. Yeah, so far, it's probably the longest video I've done so far on my channel. And I can definitely see it takes a different, it's a different whole skill set to be entertaining over a long period of time compared to a uh, more short term hours. This is definitely a whole new ball game. It completely takes a different set of skills to excel at, and obviously to be able to run for that long and still be entertaining it gives me a lot more respect. 
for the people that can't that can manage this. Which means something seems beyond my ability at the moment. But I think it's a good start. I want to start somewhere. There's a quote. Thousand mile journey starts with the first step. And I guess this will be it for me. Okay, so far so good. A little bit more work there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Let's go back to the side view. I think we'll start working on this side here. Mm -mm. Maybe extrude that one out. <laughs> I think we have to join Join the, uh, these vertices here Now we need to familiarize ourselves with the function to join vertices Hmm, maybe a vertex Which one is it? Connect new edge from vertices Connect vertex path. Okay, that didn't do it. How do I connect these two vertices? Mm -mm -mm -mm. So I divide, edge crease, join, 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 extrude edges, build edges, extrude vertices, new connect, new edge. Ah, that didn't help. Hmm. Uh, how do I add these to mesh transform snap duplicate extrude merge I think this might be it let's go and merge at center oh there we go worked okay now we can carry on I want to add a couple more Lines What happened here? There we go Let's add mm, It's an issue I think <laughs> Messed up somewhere. Hmm, why doesn't it cut along this line here? Very confused. Hmm. Maybe. Down. Keep extruding down. Yeah, guess I worked out just as well. Not exactly how I would want it to work, but better than nothing. Okay, bring that down that way. Bring these forward. Okay, now what? Go. That down. Bring that down. Mm -hmm. 
bring that back and then have that follow that line there a bit more to bring that forward straighten these up a bit it's not ideally how I want to look but I think it will work so far and I think I want to bring this down all the way down a bit more extend here Bring that down. Drag that back that way. Extrude down. Bring this closer. Drag. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this will be. Most annoying thing about uh, by modeling anything on here. I don't know what the issue is. Just made my own poor. Okay, let's have a look and see how that look. I think that's good so far for what I've done. I think it's pretty good so far. Yeah, I think I was happy with the works I've done so far. Seven. <laughs> hmm. So far, so good. More the reference photo, see what I'm working with. Mm -hmm. Okay, side view here, that way. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot that's missing from these reference photos that you have to end up inferring with your own understanding what's meant to be where or is it filling the gaps and that's just the nature when it comes to modeling any any objects where you're not 100% aware of modeling from memory as is for for me because cars specifically I'm not the most knowledgeable when it comes to that Okay. That doesn't help that I don't have the best of car, uh, computer, most powerful computer. It doesn't have to be the most powerful computer. Obviously, this, compu this laptop particularly lacks even running well for day to day stuff. But let me just have a look again, just the overall view. Hmm. I think that looks good so far. Maybe it doesn't fully represent the specific car, but I think it gives the idea of, of 
overall look of a car Okay, the body as you can see it, I mean overall it doesn't represent a specific car yet I guess but I think you can infer that it's a car from so far I think at the end of the day that's my main that was my main goal of this process. I didn't I don't think that's look at any specific car, but it's a general idea of a car. And people at least look at it and they can tell it's a car. You know, it doesn't have to people don't have to guess because I'm not sure people in general are not that knowledgeable when it comes to cars I think. Or at least in the sense of being able to correctly guess the model of car just by looking at it or at least the 3D rendering of it. I'm sure there are people out there like that. I've known people like that. I've been very well and I used to know a guy who would be able to name any car just by looking at it. Really, really crazy stuff, really interesting guy and his ability. I wonder what kind of um what it takes how we went about learning all these cars. I thought it was a skill that was very interesting to me. Ability that was very interesting to me. But yeah, I think one thing is recording these videos I've learned about myself is that I'm not the best and um, figure I'll come up with words. Um, I think in general a couple of things issues I have is when it comes to filming recording it gets in the way is um, being able to enunciate words, being able to express myself fully whether it be lack of words or in general the ideas itself because my brain usually goes somewhat blank when I am recording yeah this is it can be a bit difficult for me to it could be to do nerves to do yeah I think it has to do with nerves mostly because my brain sort of shuts down when I'm put in the spot and thinking of thinking of ideas concepts is greatly reduced when I'm in the the spotlight even though no one's with me I'm just not sure what causes my brain to shut down in the middle of recording it's something I definitely need to work on. I think this is definitely good practice so far. Mm -mm -mm. So far, so good. Yeah, there's a lot to work on this particular project. A lot more I have to do this project. Mm. I think there's a lot more I should. I could approach. I think I could approach this project much better. I think I would have outcome, better outcome, if I approach this more professionally. But I think I pretty much played it by the ear, off the cuff, if you will, uh, when it comes to modeling this car. I think this could be mainly due to my lack of practice, lack of uh, practice, lack of practice, being away from modeling in general, and business in general, away from the whole modeling scene, and even away from this particular piece of program, Blender. Every area of it, I think it just you had to build a sort of expertise or muscle memories as well. I guess when it comes to modeling, which I've been definitely lacked since I've been away from this particular field, 3D modeling. But um, hopefully, if y'all have me, if y'all let me give me the space, 
I need to work this out and really put myself to a test, get better at it. I know it's going to take time. I don't expect to be, you know, Hollywood level modeling, you know, nothing on that level, but at least to enthusiast level, enthusiast, as level of enthusiast or hobbyist. Uh, that will be my uh, most immediate goal, if you can call it that, but I have no pressure on myself. I just It's mostly for fun, so why, why stress myself out? And it ruins, obviously. I think you're a lot better at something you enjoy doing. And um, if you pressure yourself to do, pressure yourself to do, you know, to get to, especially compared to other people, it kind of takes away the fun. Uh, what's that quote that goes best way to ruin something is is to compare it I don't know it's a bit corny cheesy maybe cheese line but I think it definitely applies in this particular situation and um, I think I definitely I can definitely have the propensity to compare myself you know especially because I have some history behind this and I feel you know maybe it's a bit of arrogance a bit conceit to where I think I should be better than other people but yeah this is definitely something I have to work on it's upside of modeling I guess so far yeah so far I'm happy with the work I've done so definitely could have been a lot better but I think that will come with time uh, I need to work on myself and um, overall I think improve how I deliver these videos deliver content it's not as it's not where I would like to be, and obviously, it kind of adds to the reason why I've been so inactive. Okay, so far so good. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Let's go back to wireframe. <coughs> <laughs> I think one thing I've known is not to, you know, not to be nervous. Well, I mean, nervous is something you can't control. But I guess, I guess to be bold and have courage when it comes to this. I know it seems far-fetched the idea, but I think there is some sort of um. It takes it does take a bit of mental acuity to really um, edit model something out from scratch. Um, I think for me, I have to fight my almost my desire to almost want things to be perfect, and um, obviously you're drawing something from scratch, so it does take a bit of mental um, mental plasticity. To be able to break the idea of what you think something should look like, and um, yeah, I can struggle with that sometimes myself. Um, because and also, you at times you have to really use your own initiative and um, judge, make making your own make judgment calls sometimes, which is difficult for me. If I'm being honest. Uh, because obviously when you have to use your own judgment call you have to be um, responsible for the outcome you know so yeah it can be a bit difficult for me I think for here I'm going to do something I did earlier there which is edit and join Vertices, what was it? Mesh, hmm, what was it? Mesh, 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 merge at center, at center, boom. Again, yeah, this is definitely something I do appreciate. And then extrude again.
and then join these again M at center like so and definitely yeah a little saying to, um, to, good, to get good at something you definitely have to, it helps to enjoy it a bit more and um, obviously there's not much else you can do you can't make yourself enjoy something you don't like but it definitely helps it's the quality of the work you put out I definitely believe you do your best work you do something you enjoy and um, yeah so it's always good to do what you enjoy doing because uh, that way you create your best work and just join that up there join those two together at center bring that towards the ceiling a bit near the window a bit more bring those down Okay, maybe and bring those up. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> I can see the vertices are kind of split from the alignment. Well, they meant, I guess, at least from my, I know this from this perspective, it's these vertices are meant to be flat, uh, or, or at least I'm not supposed to see the the two vertices here should be one, for example, similar to this. So I guess somewhere along the line from here, those they split. I could try to join them again, but then I have to do the same for all of these. I think I could try, I guess. Go here, and then close. And then sh and shrink them there. Like that. And try to do the same for all these. Okay. Just like that. It's not the most precise thing, though I haven't figured out a way to do that. If I do, I will try to let you know, hopefully, during this video. But it's probably not likely I'll figure it out. Because it's already taken all the energy I have to model this car as is. Well, if you guys know a way to do that, then really appreciate that. This one might be a bit more difficult, I guess, on me. Gee. Yes, I should have fixed this a while back. But it's just so many. I guess the issue is just so many vertices. There we go, looks slightly better, that's the best we can expect, hope for, slightly better. Bring that up. Bring that there. There we go. Looking good so far. Looking good. Looking good. 
Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I think those are more level now. Yeah. Maybe I can add a bit more, but I don't think we'll add any, anything more than the effort it will take to do that. Let's see how it looks, how it changes the look. It doesn't change much, I think. <laughs> kind of ruined the B pillar or the pillar. Uh, let's begin the work. Be -be -be -hmm. <laughs> Seven. Wow, I'm not sure how I end up doing that. One second. does take a lot more work than I thought it would. Okay, so... G... Hmm, how do I fix this now? First... Maybe here... Hopefully I can just join these two lines up. Yeah, again, the way is out of alignment. thing to do up up there we go I've got the solid mode yeah so far so bad these two together now. That's the tough part, isn't it? <sighs> Anyways, I think this video's gone on for long enough. Um, I think I might have to split these videos into multiple parts to so get it all together, rather than getting it, making one giant video. 
So I think I'll probably leave it here for today. Mm, I'm seeing nothing to add. Mm, let's go to solid mode. And go to object mode. I think, yeah, I think overall there's definitely all the big parts there for the for car to start showing up somewhere in there. I think all the necessary pieces are there. I think I got something there for car. I think it's missing obviously the most important parts, aka the wheel and um, overall body I guess of the car. I need to work on. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll turn this into a series. It's just so much work goes into modeling. I know, I just appreciate seeing overall how much work it takes for this to work. It's just mind boggling how much detail, so I definitely have a lot more respect for the artist. Uh, those who model very complex designs I've always appreciate um, I think their their um, their mental plasticity takes to you to you know um, I'm very OCD so it's hard for me to I think this kind of helps kind of break out my mold of how things things should be and um, overall very open my mind different ways to get to the same end goal. I think this definitely opens my mind, helped me a lot. But anyways, yeah, so I think that's be for it for part one. Um, I think uh, we'll carry on in part two, modeling the rest of the car, the, the um, ceiling, the roof ceiling, the boot, the wheels, the bumpers, both ends, everything else in between. Hopefully we'll get there under 20, 30 episodes. <laughs> uh, we'll see how happens. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and save it now. I'll call this one Peugeot 106. 106, go ahead and save Blender file. And I hope that video has saved. Now, let me have a go ahead and look at the reference photo one more time. Yeah, there's definitely a lot, a lot more I need to work on. I think definitely most of the work I need to improve on is um, laying the foundation, reference photos. They could have been a lot more aligned, a lot better. Um, I could have been more um, tested out a bit more and checked off all the alignments are correct because that's where everything else is laid on all the reference photos that's where the whole model is laid on the whole object is laid on so yeah if we miss that then i think it's definitely hard to fix it later on so yeah definitely work on that in the beginning uh, i'm gonna close that